Hey, Joystick News fam. Today, we're diving into a serious and controversial topic that's stirring up major debates in the gaming community. A petition demanding Genshin Impact developer MiHoYo to stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing has just reached 75,000 signatures. Let's break down what's happening and why this issue is gaining so much traction. So what's the story? Recently, MiHoYo revealed several characters for the upcoming Natlan expansion in Genshin Impact. This new area is inspired by African and Latin American cultures. However, the reveal has sparked outrage among fans because the characters shown are largely white, leading to accusations of colorism and cultural appropriation. The petition, started by a Genshin Impact fan known as Aventurine of Stratagems, calls on Mihoyo to commit to respectful and accurate representation of all cultures. It highlights that while some enemies and NPCs in the game are black, this has only intensified concerns of racism among players and indigenous communities. What's even more compelling is that over 75,000 people have already signed the petition, with more signatures pouring in daily. This outcry is not just from the fans. Several English voice actors working on Mihoyo's games have also joined the calls for better representation. Despite the growing pressure, Mehoyo has yet to respond to these accusations. Fans are worried that the studio might ignore these concerns altogether, but they're not backing down without a fight. This isn't the first time Genshin Impact has faced backlash over its lack of diversity, and if Mehoyo doesn't address these issues, it likely won't be the last. So, why does this matter? Accurate and respectful representation in media, including video games, is crucial. It helps combat stereotypes, promotes inclusivity, and ensures that all players feel seen and respected. The gaming community is vast and diverse, and it's essential that the games we love reflect that diversity. Let's talk solutions. The petition demands that MiHoYo reverse the existing content planned for the Natlan expansion and engage with indigenous cultural consultants to create more diverse characters. This move could help the company show its commitment to representation and respect for all cultures. We'll have to wait and see if this issue gains enough momentum to prompt an official response from MiHoYo. For now, the conversation continues to grow louder, with more gamers voicing their support for the petition. What do you think about this controversy? Do you believe MiHoYo will make the necessary changes, or will they ignore the community's concerns? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on gaming news and controversies. Until next time, stay informed, stay respectful, and keep gaming. This is Joystick News, signing off.